Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you a total of five SharePoint features that you can use um, from the convenience of your computer, your Windows Explorer. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, look, majority of SharePoint functionality, let's say you, you have some documents uh, stored uh, on a SharePoint site in a document library, like I have one over here. Um, in order to take advantage of some of those, you know, features, document management features, you really have to be in SharePoint. All right. Uh, for example, if I want to, um, let's say, manage access to a particular file uh, and maybe uh, hide this uh, document or folder from others, or maybe I want to uh, share or uh, copy a link to that document or even view the uh, version history. A lot of functionality, um, I actually recorded a number of videos on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of this functionality I kind of showed to you, um, you know, for, uh, you know, available, being available uh, from the SharePoint site itself. However, um, I don't know if you uh, know this, on, uh, you know, essentially some of this functionality, you don't even need to be in SharePoint. All right, to take advantage of some of this, you know, SharePoint features, you don't even need to be in SharePoint. Let me explain. So, um, first of all, um, you know, in order to get the library and the documents on your computer, uh, you really need to sync the library. And again, I uh, have a number of videos on this topic uh, on my YouTube channel. You can check them out. Uh, but um, let's say I decided to synchronize this library. Uh, to my computer, and I have already done that, all right? Uh, right here, uh, this is my uh, Windows Explorer. And what you're going to see on the left-hand side, you're going to see a document library. Uh, every time you sync one, you're going to see a document library appear in, in your Windows Explorer. Uh, so what you see right here is the same uh, document library right here uh, that you just saw appearing on my SharePoint site, but now it's on my C drive, all right? So I have already synchronized uh, this particular library. Now, when you synchronize, it actually establishes not not only uh, it copies everything over to your computer, but it also establishes a two-way connection uh, between your computer and SharePoint. So every time you make a change in one place, uh, it immediately uh, you know makes the changes in another. Now, uh, back to the topic of this video. So. Um, once you synchronize, of course, you can um, start making changes to the documents and uh, upload new documents, and they will magically be synchronized to SharePoint. But let me show you a total of five features that you can also access, you know, the SharePoint features you can access from the convenience of Windows Explorer. So I'm going to pick on this document. Uh, if you click on it, right click. On the OneDrive, you're going to see this are all the different SharePoint features that you normally would access on a SharePoint site, but you can access them right here, uh, right from your C drive. So, for example, uh, the ability to share, you know how you can share the document internally, externally? Let me click share. You get the same, um, you know, the same uh, pop up, the same window as you do in SharePoint. Let me just uh, prove it to you. Um, I thought it was this document. So right click share. You get the same exact, you know, pop up where you can uh, invite others to your document, where you can, um, you know, change the uh, type of uh, type of the link and so on. I'm uh, not sure why it's uh, taking all this time. Let's try it again, uh, just like that. All right, here we go. Uh, this is where I can invite you know, people, give them view, edit access, and so on, change the type of link to a different type of link. Well, again, uh, I can do the same. I can do the same. Let me <laughs> make it a little bit more clear. Uh, I think it was this one, yeah. So as you can see, I can just uh, invite others uh, right from here. All right, and I can be very specific and you know, send uh, the message. Uh, and by the way, I can change the type of, uh, type of link. So I only want uh, John to be able to uh, view this document, right? So that's pretty much it. So I didn't even need to be in SharePoint for this. All right, so that was feature number one. Uh, the second one is kind of similar. Uh, copy link, the ability to copy the link. Uh, maybe I just want to copy the link and you know paste it in Teams chat or uh, Outlook uh, email. I can do that. So that is the second feature. Uh, the third feature is just the ability to view the document online. If I want to uh, open the document uh, in the native app, you just click on it just like I did. 
Uh, but if for whatever reason, I don't know why, but you, you have the ability to view it, um, uh, you know, to view it online, uh, it will just open up uh, the same document uh, in the browser. All right. And uh, let's, so that was number three, uh, feature number three. Uh, let's see what else. I kind of skipped this one, manage access. That's super important. So with sharing and copy link, right, we can extend invitations and, and provide additional permissions to this document, you know, to people who do not have access to this document. Uh, with manage access, it's the opposite, all right? We can do the opposite. And essentially, and again, I have a number of videos on how to uh, do this um, uh, on a SharePoint site. It's pretty much similar, but let's just say, you know what, I don't want um, maybe certain members of visitors to uh, be able to access this particular document, right? I want to hide it uh, from them or change the access. I can do it right from here. Again, I didn't even need to be in SharePoint for this, all right? I can do it right from, uh, right from Windows Explorer. All right, so that was feature number four. And the last feature that's available uh, is um, super powerful, in my opinion, uh, the ability to view version history. Uh, just to refresh your memory um, how this works in um, online uh, in the browser. So if I want to see the revision history and see all these different revisions, uh, essentially we have two revisions at the moment. It shows you the whole history of the document. Uh, let's see what it looks like uh, in the in Windows Explorer, so uh, yeah, just like that version history. And look at this again; it shows me, you know, two revisions. And just like just like with the online version, you can uh, view those uh, older revisions. You can restore the older revision. So super super uh, powerful. All right. So if you are one of those users who just you know uh, likes to walk out of Windows Explorer, you synchronize the library. You can now access all of this wonderful um, SharePoint document uh, management features right on your computer. Now, uh, one thing I want to warn you is that not all the features, not all the SharePoint features um, are available in Windows Explorer, all right? Things like, you know, all this uh, shortcuts, ability to add shortcuts, uh, create favorites or pin to top, you know, all this other, all these things are not available in Windows Explorer. The, the other command that's uh, that you might be using quite frequently, the ability to check out the document, right? This is for situations when uh, you do not want to co-author documents. You want to kind of log the document to yourself. Again, you have to be in the browser for that. But, you know, for basic sharing, uh, ability to work with the revisions and, you know, manage access, um, you can either choose the browser experience or the uh, Windows Explorer experience. All right. So that's all I wanted to share with you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, in my opinion, this, uh, this, uh, you know, features the ability to access those features in Windows Explorer is super powerful. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.